Wait. Oh. Damn, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I am sorry. Alright, so uh, <laughs> we got Band versus Dynamo. So, for some reason, I heard about this guy, Band, before. Mm -hmm. uh, I was playing against one of the other UCLA people like a few weeks ago. I, I won't say like around last month. And they were telling me, like, man, I really struggle versus this Diddy player named Band at UCLA. They, like, kind of doesn't look like Because I, I played Diddy, and yeah. they were like, Man, but you're not really helping me to beat him because he plays really, really campy and times me out while you just rush at me. But like, right now, uh, I'm not seeing any of that. Like, yeah. Dynamo actually just not letting him play the game, really. And I feel like that's what Dynamo wants to do in this matchup. Not really let, let Diddy play the game because you let Diddy get establish control with, like, Banana, Fair, Down Tilt. Um, you will essentially start losing the game and let Diddy get to the edge guard situation, which Diddy is really good at. Yeah. And that's you're, what Dynamo wants to do. You're very right about that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm surprised he's not dead. I thought he was going to go off stage and just near. All right. I like how Dynamo actually doesn't burn the limb and just tries to come back with just regular jump. Really smart option there. Yeah, he's normally really smart about saving mm -hmm. his limit to recover. Actually, like, he uses jump at, like, the last possible moment. Yeah. Actually, the funny, interesting thing about Dynamo in terms of his stats, this past season, he actually only had one bad loss. And actually, that was to your naked grandma. Out of all that's his losses. That's not even a bad loss. That's, and that's, that's not even crazy. a bad loss. I know. Some people tell me, like, oh, that's a bad loss. If it's not a PR, it's a bad loss. I was like, I don't know. I mean, your naked grandma, I'd put him in that, you know, I top 25. Him, I put him, uh, like, 21, you yeah. know? Like, can be PR, like, but just not, doesn't have that, that big, huge win yet. Yeah, exactly. So, I looked into Dynamo's stats. He actually only has three losses to Candy, which is most interesting. A lot of good wins this past season, but yeah, only like one only one loss of Lloyd Fallen to name a few. Um, but Dynamo's uh, on the come up, and I'm really happy to hear that you know he's treating this matchup quite well because he's not letting Diddy get the edge card situation that he wants. Yeah. Oh jeez, I lived that. I thought he was just gonna ask me. All right, now he's gonna charge. Why not? Gave me the, the whole stage. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> okay. Oh, nice. good monkey flip. All right, this is good. Oh, but he let him come back. Oh. All, right, yeah. all right, now he's fine. All right, now, now this is where it's scary for Dymo. It very, it is. It's the edge guard situation. There yeah, it is, yeah, the yeah. back air. Oh my God, that that platform still coming in is actually saving. What a homie. Oh, why'd you go so low? Yeah. Hey, we yeah. got that last nice. hit. No tech. Just exploded. Literally exploded. <laughs> yeah, he did. I mean, with those barrels at the same time. Jeez. Oh. Right, that was possible to take that, but like, yikes. Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, though, I do like how towards the end uh, we did see Ban start to move to the edge guard situation. Unfortunately, like early, he was like far away from the edge and let Dynamo come back for free. Yeah. When he should have set up Banana and start setting up Diddy's. Yeah. I would say Diddy's Diddy's campsite. <laughs> That's what yeah, I want to say. Like it's so hard to get past Diddy when there's like a banana right there and they're like the right like roll distance from the ledge. Is you just cover so many options like jump, neutral get up, roll, like all of it's really dangerous. But I mean, now we're on Lilat, which is, uh, I don't think this is, like, an actual counter pick against Cloud. Like, I actually think this is one of Cloud's best stages. I, I can agree with that. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like Cloud just does particularly well. I mean, the platforms. Well, if you just look at, like, his sword. Yeah, they stick it, through, right? It goes through literally every platform. Yeah, up tilt, up air. Like, it's it's pretty much you get to up air, and then if you can try to catch your opponent landing with, like, an aerial. But also, yeah, up to sticks to the entire platform. Also, Marth, Lucida, Corrin. Really yeah, like characters. sword characters are just amazing on this stage. I don't think Meta Knight does, though. I, 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 I would not much. count him as a sword character. No, no. That toothpick, like, that's not a sword. <laughs> Someone doesn't appreciate it at all. I actually love Meta, but yeah, that toothpick does not reach at all. Uh, Dynamo doing a pretty good job right now. Just actually charging limit, not letting Ban come back to the stage at all. He doesn't want him to be on the stage where Ban can have opportunities. All right, nice. Yeah. Power shields out with a jab. Oh, jeez. Where is Dynamo? Dynamo going? All nice right. Forward tilt, safe option there. Oh, Ooh, he got lilat Yeah, he did. Actually, the funny thing about Lilat that I was talking to Phoenix at the Invitational, Lilat is a stage that it's a box in reality, and as you see as the stage tilts, the, the blast zones change. Yeah, that's why he died. Yeah. The stage literally tilted, and then he was in the blast zone when mm -hmm. it was changing. So every time, so right now the blast zone has shifted every time it tilts. So that's what makes Lilat really interesting. If you guys are wondering, like yeah, interesting isn't the word I would use. I find I find it interesting I, in terms of the concept of the stage, but yeah, it's not that great. Oh my god, that oh could have actually been a. 
Uh, Good pressure. Oh, oh, he didn't go for cross side. Or uh, finishing touch. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. That could have actually been a finishing touch. Jeez, Dynamo is all over this fight. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry, Edwin. <laughs> I know you try hard. I know you do, bro. I believe you do. You can do it, man. Just, just think of it as another bail. All right. So Dynamo, pretty much doing a really good job. I actually liked how he threw a limit, even though it was questionable. He threw a limit blade beam. Oh my god. The whiff punish was just too good. Jesus. Not only that, I feel like Dynamo was ready for that side B. Uh, yeah. It's actually the one move I didn't see Ban toss out too much, was Diddy side B. It's risky. If, you, if you're not sure you're going to get the kick, or you don't know if they're... Like, if you have a condition they'll block, it's not like a safe move to just spam out. Yeah. Especially for someone who has a sword, because like, they have so much range of punish. I do see Diddy's use it like, when they're up on above the ceiling as well. Oh yeah, like, I mean like an approaching move. Like, yeah. Question. Nonetheless, though, um, I was going to say, Dynamo did a really good job.